Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Amy. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today I have another fun project share for um, Erica at Scrap Diva Designs. And I was, I've was i been waiting to share this with you guys. I think it came out so super cute and I absolutely love it. So I've continued on with my same kind of color scheme and theme that I've been using for um, all my projects this month. Um, I've been having a lot of fun creating with all of these wonderful um, fall products. So um, the first thing I wanna show you is my my card. So this is my little card and I just think it came out so cute. It is a slider card so the little truck slides back and forth and this truck is absolutely adorable. You can see all the really cute details. So this is part of the truck mini album. And then Erica also released um, a second set of sliders. So these are the slider set number two. And um, just so you can see in here, they, these are just longer than the last ones. So this gives you the ability to just make longer tracks for whatever it is that you're creating. And then of course it has all the little circles so that way you can stack them and um, put them inside the slider and then glue it to the back of whatever it is that you have created. Anyway, that that so that's the difference between slider set number one and two. These are just larger. So as you can see, I've used the slider right back here. And all I've done to create this slider is, um, so I took this piece of cardboard, I mean cardstock, and I actually backed it up onto a second piece just to make it a little bit stronger. And then I have basically, I cut out a channel with the slider die set. And then I have put foam tape all around the exterior, not near the foam, the, the, the slider piece because then it won't slide. And then because the truck is so long, I actually, what I did was I used two sets. So I stacked these twice. And so there's actually a circle on one side and a circle on another side. Um, so that way it will stay level because it, it, because it's such a large die. If I would have only put one in the center, it would have just tipped back and forth. So I put it on two. But anyway, so then I just used a die from my stash for um, the slimline die right here. And then on the inside, I've just created um, a white spot to be able to, you know, send your, put your message. And then I just used, this was from the digital collection, um, paper collection, as well as all this paper too. It was just part of a digital collection. And it says, hello autumn. And I absolutely think it's so cute, but look at all the details. So this is spectacular. So this die set has, <clears throat> first of all, it has the base. And then it has your first layer, which is um, stitched, as you can see. And then it has a second layer, which, you, as you can see here, there's um, a lot of detail that goes into it from this top layer. So that's the third layer of the truck. And then there are other layers. So you've got the little piece back here. You've got this for the wood paneling, the, the back of the truck. I don't know what you would call this, but the like the back area of the truck. And then it's got other little details like um, some of the headlights, the uh, little window here, and then you've got your door separate so you can pop up your door or just glue it down. And then you've also got your wheels. So you've got two different pieces to do your wheels. So it's a really spectacular set. I really love it. I think it would make a great box. It would be great on a bag. It's just really adorable. And I just kept mine simple because I thought that the truck was so cute. So I just put a cute little seam binding bow here. And then again, I've used the adorable fringe style flowers that she released this month. Like I said, you guys, I absolutely I love this flower so much. This is the flower that it's going to just stay out all the time because I will be using it all the time. Anyway, so that is my really adorable um, autumn card with the mini truck album. So that's my first project. And then this is my second project. I have created a banner. So this was made with the leaf mini album. Um, this leaf mini album is quite large. Hold on, let me grab a ruler. I always forget to grab my ruler. Okay, so the leaf. <clears throat> Done with all of the layers. It is about... It is about, it's a little over six and three quarters. So we're right, right at six and three quarters tall. And then from one end to the other end, we're looking at about five and three quarters. So it is um, 
it is quite large. And as you can see, so this one, um, this one thing I love about all of Erica's dyes, she always has lots of layering. So you've got a base layer here, followed by a second stitch layer, and then followed by a third stitch layer. So you get all that really beautiful definition. And let me show you this one because you can actually see it a little bit more clearly. So this is my, um, so as you can see all the layers. So this is the leaf on the top and it's just beautiful. I just, it's got great details. It's just a really beautiful dye. And I think you could use it for lots of different purposes, but I just thought it would make a really fun fall banner. So anyway, so um, I have five different pieces on mine. So this is my first one right here. I've used the digital collection with the little foxes that I've used on several of my projects all over again. I just did craft cardstock for the back. I used a glitter cardstock here, and then I've cut the top leaf out of the digital collection. This is a part of the digital collection as well so is the fox and then all the flowers that I've made I mentioned before I also use the digital collection and these are those beautiful flowers again absolutely love them and then I did a cute little crepe paper rosette behind him and I just think it came out so cute and then I've got this little seam binding bow here and I've got a little twine bow there and I think it's absolutely adorable I just I just love it. And then the next one over is um, just a plain leaf. Um, so I did again the craft, the glitter, and the cardstock. I mean the the pattern paper. And then I just did this really pretty um, muslin fabric bow on it. I wanted to keep it simple because I just think that these um, I think the leaves are really beautiful. So um, and just in case you were wondering, so on the back side, all I've done is I've um, punched a hole in two different sides. I strung it through on the back sides, and then I actually put um, another cardstock um, piece right here, just so that way they don't shift. That way it'll stay in place. But anyway, so that's my first one. That's my second one. My third one here is this girl. Absolutely adorable. This is the first, no, I think it's the second girl that I've used from the collection. So again, you can see I've done the same thing. I've done crafting glitter and then a pattern paper. And then I did um, a different kind of rosette. This one is pink and I've actually distressed it with some Tim, um, Tim Holtz oxide. And then I've just got some pieces from the digital collection. And then I've got some adorable little, um, some more of the beautiful flowers, the fringe style flowers. And then I've just got this really pretty seam binding bow. And I think it's just absolutely adorable. Really, really cute. And then <clears throat> this is my next leaf. So it's just a different pattern. I've done a different pattern than the original one, um, but same thing. I just glued them down. And I created, you can see, kind of see there's a lot of movement here. Um, that's because I did not glue these pieces down. So, um, and I actually did take my, my paper and slightly curl it just like so, but they are only, as you can see, I only glued them just a little right here in the center. And that's how it has kind of that kind of movement. So it's not all kind of just flat. Anyway, so that's the next one. And then here is my last one on the banner. I love the fox and his cute little overalls. I think he just looks adorable. Um, and so again, I've just got all my layers here, some ephemera from the collection, the cute little flowers, a little, um, a little bow here, and another little seam binding bow there. So that is my banner. And what I had thought was, I remember, I, I mentioned that I was planning on doing something to go inside of the, um, the bag. And actually, um, this fits extremely, extremely well inside the little tote. This tote bag is really roomy. So um, I haven't decided who I'm gifting this to, but this was kind of was kind of my plan was to be able to kind of fill up the bag. And then I figured I can put in, there's still a little more space. I could put in the card. I could put in some of the other goodies, but it just all coordinates together. So cute. I think the theme is pulled through really nice. I've used the bows everywhere, the beautiful paper. But anyway, so that those are my project shares for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed um, my, my share of this. And as always, I will have um, all the dies that I've used um, listed in the drop down box below. If there's anything you wanna pick up over at Erica's site, um, don't forget to use my code Amy10 to get 10% off your purchase. And as always, I wanna thank you guys so much for stopping by and spending some time with me. I hope that you are inspired to go out there and create something for yourself. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks. Bye.